Whoa, bird! So we asked you to send in miniature stories, and many of you sent in short, short films or tales of being small. Here they are. Good thing I found this really small hat. Oh, oh, we're going upside down. Oh, it's a bit of an updraft here. Oh boy. I'm four feet, 11 and a half inches. And yes, the half inch is important. I grew up in the early 90s in the Toy Story um, boom, I guess you could say. Like, I, I grew up the same age as Andy, the main character in the movies. I've never had a dog before Riley, and I don't know how I lived 20 years of my life without the unbelievable, unconditional love of a dog. The toy that I, I took to university with me. <laughs> um, is, uh, is this guy. Being short is pretty great. I can walk under things most people can't. I can easily fit into any vehicle. A twin-sized bed is just fine. He just wants me to be happy. So now, my tiny dog's enormous love is what miniature means to me. Small things like this toy, this this small, small toy can mean a lot to you growing up. And, and it's one of those things like, I'm not gonna let go of it. I'm still gonna probably keep it around. I'll give it to my kid if he watches Toy Story. But the thing is, it's a small uh, thing that reminds me of who I am. My husband builds miniatures as part of a tabletop game called Warhammer. When he first started this hobby, I was pretty skeptical. In fact, I made fun of him for it. As an incentive for me to start looking after my garden, I decided to put a model railway out here. Lego is a very small building toy and you only need this many bricks, just six bricks, to have over 915 million different combinations, which means that you only need a miniature collection of bricks to have a lot of building potential in your collection. This wagon is a model of a real one, it's mostly made of used plastic meal trays and coffee stirrers. One day he showed me one that he had spent hours upon hours building and painting. And you know what I realized? It was really good. He had put so much work into this little piece of plastic and it was important to him. That was when I understood that just because this hobby seemed silly to me, didn't mean that it wasn't important. I realized that I had no right to belittle something that was special to the man I love, even if it was only a little something. That's my story about something miniature. Yeah. Hi there. Do you want to clean your house and make it look easy? Nah. Not really. my adorably pathetic dog Chewy, short for Chewbacca because it's like a Wookiee as a puppy. I love him because he lets me do this, and this. But this one he did himself on St. Patty's Day. He won't tell me the details, and I'm afraid to ask how he got the beads. Oh man, I invited so many hot chicks to this party. They're here. Oh, oh my god, god. Yeah. Oh, there you are, Tracy. I was looking for you. I am so worried. <laughs> Underneath these city lights, the stars above don't shine so bright. I want to head out west to the coast, where oceans reflect the stars the most. There once was a frog called McNair, who owned a miniature chair. He didn't quite fit when he tried to sit, and now people are starting to stare. Dangerously talented, and I've been given a challenge to do a vlog in under 10 seconds, which is very convenient because I've got nothing to say. Here's some stuff to look at.
I devoted all my life to become the first king of Mars, despite the fact that the trip is only one way. And now I'm here, I find it so exciting. I highly recommend you come visit me. I'll give you a free rock. What's that smell? I forgot to turn off the stove. Thanks for submitting your miniature stories. I wish we could have used all of them, but we just couldn't in such a short amount of time. Short. Get it? <laughs> Matt, get it? Gah. Short. Because short, it's miniature week, you get it. You get it. This is impossible. Oh, come on. It's not that hard. All you got to do is get a hole in one, make a wish to the evil jack-o'-lantern, and make me big again. Well, if you're so good at mini golf, why don't you do it? <laughs> That's very funny. I am, I'm really good, and I appreciate your compliment, but I'm small, I'm too small to play now. What, where are you going, Matt, where are you going? Matt, no, Matt, I gotta, come on, Matt! <sighs> well, thanks for watching. Um, I hope we've shown you that being miniature isn't always a bad thing. It is right now, though, it sucks for me. I guess I should call Ryan. <laughs>